proudly sponsored by Eels and Tronvold Law Offices. McGrath Family of Dealerships. And Wald Collision Center in Fairfax. This is a presentation of KCRG TV9 Live Events. Join KCRG TV9 in recognizing the hard work all of our graduates have accomplished this year. Congratulations, graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and welcome the class of 2022.
Good evening and welcome. Welcome to the 55th John F. Kennedy High School commencement. And let us all once again welcome the class of 2022. <laughs> to begin our ceremony, I would like to introduce Simeon Yauhainen, senior class officer, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, and thank you for being here with us tonight. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please continue standing for the Star Spangled Banner performed by Moonlight Express. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still. You can all be seated. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Allison Harris, and this is Layla Graw. As co-presidents of student government, we would like to ev welcome everyone to the 2022 Kennedy High School graduation ceremony. Each and every one of the students seated in this room have put in tremendous amounts of dedication and hard work to get here. First, we would like to say thank you to those who taught all of us life's valuable lessons along the way. Thank you teachers, coaches, and parents. As we continue to go on in life, we may take your efforts for granted, but always remember, your hard work and support have not gone unnoticed. Today we are celebrating our accomplishments and looking to the future. Thinking back to when you were five years old, what did you want to be? Most of us answered with astronauts or a Disney princess, but that soon changed because when we were 10 years old, we answered with an NFL player, a rock star, or the President of the United States. Throughout the past 13 years of school, we have grown together and changed together. We have learned much from the classroom, but the real learning came from outside the books, playing at recess, eating lunch in the cafeteria, and on the fields with our peers. Our stories began on the very first day of kindergarten. Hard to believe we were once those little balls of energy that needed a nap every two hours. Here we are now, still needing a nap every two hours. We learned many things over the next six years. Multiplication, how to spell, and not to bite each other. 
We also learned some arguably more beneficial things, like to be kind and do our best, sharing is caring, and to treat others how you want to be treated. These lessons and skills are something we still carry with us today and will throughout the rest of our lives. Then came middle school, the three years where everyone is just trying to find a way to fit in. In middle school, every one of us encountered changes in personalities, relationships, and minds. Man, I am glad I'm not the same person I was in middle school. Trust me, my parents are too. The ideas we had for our future shifted as we learned we had to be more realistic. It was my poor counselor who had to break the news that a job as a Disney princess wouldn't pay the bills. Soon our hopes and dreams changed into something a little more realistic. I wanted to be a teacher and Allie a doctor. As middle school came to an end, talk of having to be accountable for our own actions began. Teachers told us this behavior would never fly with a high school teacher. Clearly, they have not seen teachers sit at the end of the hallway huddled around a fake campfire. But the lessons of setting realistic expectations and accountability for our own actions are things that we carry with us for the rest of our lives. Finally, we made it to high school, the four most anticipated years in every student's educational career. We were the little fish in a big pond one last time, beginning our final journey to the end. People always told us it would go by fast, but somehow we never believed them. Maybe it was because we were constantly thinking about the future. Maybe we were too ignorant to focus on the present, not realizing that what we had would be gone so soon. The days go by slowly, but the years sure are fast. Throughout high school, we were constantly asked the question, what's next? We learned how to plan weeks, months, and years into the future just so we could answer that one seemingly simple question. Although many of us still may not know what we want to pursue, as we go forward, we need to remember that for whatever adventure lies ahead, we just need to stop and enjoy the present. Because the future is not as far away as it appears to be. The lessons of planning ahead while still enjoying the moment are ones we will take with us for the rest of our lives. Not only are we here to send each other off into the real world and celebrate our accomplishments, but to also remind ourselves of our journeys that began 13 years ago. Today is the day that the path we have all been traveling on together will split into 420 unique roads. Some of us may go on to be the astronaut, the pro athlete, or the president that we once dreamed of being. As we all embark on this new chapter in our lives, each of us will face new challenges as we pursue our individual goals. We are so grateful for the friendships, the lessons, and the memories that will guide us through wherever it is we end up next. Congratulations to the class of 2022. We did it. Good evening. My name is Angelina Madlock. I'm a student government officer. As we have seen, Kennedy High School is blessed to have a great fine arts program. We take great pride in our bands, orchestras, and choirs. Let me take a few moments to introduce some highlights for the, from the year. In our choir program, six singers were accepted into the All-State Choir in the fall. In the spring, our varsity show choir, Happiness Incorporated, returned to show choir nationals in Nashville, Tennessee. Moonlight Express once again was selected to the Iowa Vocal Jazz Championships, and our large group show choirs also performed at many concerts this year. The Kennedy Band Program also had an outstanding year. Four band members were accepted into the Iowa All-State Band, and two students were selected as alternates. The marching band once again was able to perform at home football games and competitions through Eastern Iowa. In March, members of the Kennedy Band, along with students from Xavier, Washington, and Linmar High Schools, participated in St. Patrick's Day festivals in Dublin, Dublin and Lim Limerick, Ireland. Once again, our Kennedy Jazz One contributed a track for KCCK 2021 Corridor Jazz Project. The bands also participated in the large state group festivals where Wind Symphony was awarded a Division I rating. The Kennedy Orchestra had a terrific year with many accomplishments. Aidan Ball, Jasmine Hartney, and Aaron Renshaw were selected to the All-State Orchestra. More than 30 students participated in several honor orchestras throughout the year. The Symphony Orchestra performed at the Paramount Theater. 
This year, they presented with their first ever recital where everyone participated in small groups. They capped off the year with the ever popular symphonic rock concert. Please join me in applauding our fine arts program. The band, orchestra, the choir will combine to perform the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Following that, the Kennedy Concert Choir will perform Seeds of Hope by Alan Kepke. And then we will ask everyone to rise for the Kennedy Alma Mater.
and try to shield us from the pain. And then you placed the clouds above so we would feel the rain. You taught us that the truths of life are not just black and white, that shades of gray and compromise can give the blind new sight. And so the dream would unfold, a vision of tomorrow. Parents, guardians, grandparents, teachers, administrators, family, and class of 2022, I am Natalie Bulo, senior class president. The day has arrived. We are graduating from high school. It seems like only yesterday we were finishing middle school 
an incoming freshman to John F. Kennedy Senior High School. Today marks the closing sentences of an important chapter of our lives and marks the beginning of a new one. Our school was named after President John F. Kennedy, and so this evening, I would like to take the opportunity to share some of his most memorable quotes. President Kennedy said, we must find time to stop and thank the people who make a difference in our lives. That time is now. The people who made a difference in our lives are here right now. They are our parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, and other supportive friends and family. They are the people who held our hands as we walked into our kindergarten classrooms. They are the people who fed us. They are the ones who encouraged us to reach this day. They are our teachers and our coaches. They are the people who helped us flourish and find our passions. They are the people who have prepared us for what lies beyond this day. They are our fellow classmates, the ones we grew to call our friends, who supported and embraced our interests. They are the people we may not see again after this day. However big or small, these people have made a difference in our lives. So before we begin this next chapter of our lives, let us not forget to thank the people who guided us here. President Kennedy also said, things do not happen, things are made to happen. And things were made to happen here at Kennedy High School. The Kennedy class of 2022 has the most valedictorians and salutatorians in modern school history. Our school is ranked by US News and World Report as the top high school in Cedar Rapids, a top 15 high school in Iowa, and amongst the top 15% in the entire United States. You all made that happen. Our lives have not only been enriched by academics, but also by opportunities in athletics, music, and the arts. Our athletics teams have won Mississippi Valley Conference Valley Division championships, had 43 first-team all-conference players, 41 first-team all-metro players, 55 second-team all-conference players, 47 second-team all-metro players, and 168 all-academic conference players. 22 students were four-year varsity letter winners. All of these accolades don't yet include spring sports, which will add to the impressive numbers. Meanwhile, there are talented students in our band, orchestra, vocal, theater, show choir, performing arts, and other groups who have been recognized for many regional and state awards. And let us also take into account the multitude of students who participated and succeeded in both. At the same time, this class has been active in clubs and organizations, proving that we are invested in our community and dedicated to equity and inclusion. For example, the open mic night, Voices of the Voiceless, where we saw multiple communities like the Black Student Union, the Gay Straight Alliance, and Muslim Student Alliance join together and create an opportunity to be heard. All of these accomplishments occurred because we made them happen. Congrats. Again, quoting our 35th president, efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. The Kennedy class of 2022 is here today because of purpose and direction. We will tell stories of how we attended school virtually and in person as we persevered through a worldwide pandemic. We continued in uncertain times, but we never lost sight of the goal of graduating high school. The culmination of that work, that perseverance, is celebrated tonight. And in one final quote from President Kennedy, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest form of appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. So, while today we celebrate our commencement and articulate our gratitude, let's go boldly forward into the next chapter of our lives. Let's live, let's make a difference, and let's roll cougs. Thank you very much.
Good evening. I am AJ Corkery, member of Senior Class Council. It is often tradition at presidential inaugurations, at celebrations for arts and literary accomplishments, and at signature events to select a poet laureate. The poet is commissioned to create and deliver a poem for the event. Kennedy High School also has the tradition of selecting a poet laureate for our commencement ceremony. Please welcome Maria Shake, our poet laureate for the 55th Kennedy High School commencement. I used to keep a countdown in my journal, folded tightly between checklists and deadlines. Four years, it said, then three, then two, then some months as the hours dripped by. I've spent all these years excited for zero, anxious for the promised new start, where my graduation cap would kiss the summer sun and new freedom would give me new heart. Zero means escape. Zero means it's over. Zero means anguish no more. Zero is where calculus goes to die. Zero is where school drama falls aside. Zero is where troubled adolescence dissolves. Zero is where adulthood begins. Zero is the start of the best four years, of the best friends and experience there is. She's arrived, that zero. She's been here a while. Rapping on my door, her patience grows thin. Four years ago, even three, even two, I would have thrown it open to welcome her in. Oh, zero, I would have said, what took you so long? For four years, I've suffered alone. I differentiated and integrated my free time, all dissipated, watching the hours drip on. But two years became one, and then just a few months, and the endless drag started to blossom bloomed memories of friends, house parties, weekends, successes, both tiny and awesome. I'm hiding from zero to cherish that time, the moments that make up my soul. The chase and the grind, early mornings and later nights, the chaos of 15 and caffeine and the scene that we'd make as we'd mess it all up again. But zero won't take them, I've realized just now, she can't touch what I've kept locked in place. In the shrine of my heart, all I've loved beats so strong, new beginnings can't strip it away. So I open my door and welcome Zero inside, let her weave my life into something brand new. And I'm no longer afraid of letting good times go, because Zero will preserve them, safe, strong, and true. Thank you. I'm Amanda Williams, senior class officer. At this time, I would like to ask all the salutatorians to please stand. <laughs> to earn the distinction of salutatorian, a graduate must earn a collective grade point average of 4.0 to 4.164. With our system of weighted grades for advanced placement courses and the opportunity to earn plus or minus with a letter grade, it is possible to accumulate a grade point beyond a 4.0. It takes dedication to academics to do so. Congratulations to the 32 salutatorians of the Kennedy class of 2022. And now, please welcome Sydney Short, Student Government Officer. Good evening. I have the honor of introducing the valedictorians for the class of 2022. Will our 48 valedictorians please stand? It takes tremendous commitment to academics to earn. It takes tremendous commitment to academics during the status of valedictorian. 
Each of these students has earned at least a 4.165 cumulative grade point average. A 4.165 is between the letter grade of A and A+. As was stated in an inter introduction of salutatorians, a score above 4.0 is possible with weighted grades in the plus and minus system. These 48 students have reached an admirable goal in earning the distinction of valedictorian. Audience, please join me in congratulating our valedictorians. At this time, I would like to introduce Kaylee Duncan, the member of our class with the highest grade point average, who will give the valedictory address. I'd just like to start the speech off with a thank you. Thank you to my mom and dad for being such supportive and loving parents. Not everyone is lucky enough to receive the care I have, so for that, I say thank you. Thank you to the Kennedy staff for supporting me not only on my academic journey, but my personal growth these past four years. Thank you to my coaches for pushing me to my fullest potential and helping me unlock my confidence. Thank you to my team who helped bring me out of my shell. And thank you, class of 2022, for growing alongside me to become the people we are today. It took me a very long time to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with my five minutes here today. I didn't want to write something ingenuine, overly preachy, or worst of all, just flat out boring. I didn't, here wait. I didn't want to come across as being braggy, conceited, or ignoring the accomplishments of many of you here today that hasn't been recognized to the same degree. I especially didn't want to be an inaccurate representation of our class. The more I thought about it, the more I panicked. I worried that what I had to say wasn't good enough, wasn't valid, and would just be a waste of time. For a second, I genuinely just considered reciting Troy's speech from High School Musical. But there was a teacher here who gave me some advice. She told me that I should go up here and just be my genuine self. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm Kaylee, I'm 18 years old. I enjoy running, spending time with my cat, and sleeping. I like talking to people, exploring new things, and even math. <laughs> I think one of the biggest obstacles I've faced these past four years, other than a literal pandemic, was my tendency to overthink everything. I mean, who stays up until 3 a.m. dwelling on an awkward conversation they've had that day? Apparently me. Coming to this school, I had a difficult time finding and expressing confidence in who I was as a person and what I valued. I was always weighed down by a fear of standing out or being different. Every decision was cautiously planned out in my head and reinforced by the reactions of my peers. Then school went virtual. I think we can all agree that was awful. I feel like the general consensus was that learning online and enjoying our time on school was nearly possible. Impossible. At the same time though, I realized that this was a time where people changed drastically, me included. In dramatic terms, we were sort of forced to fend for ourselves. There wasn't that same level of social or authoritative pressure for most of us to dictate how we lived our lives, which left it all to us. For me, this was eye-opening. My actions became those free from a need for approval. They were just genuinely me, and it felt pretty awesome. I found that my most memorable, fun experiences I've had were those that stemmed from zero planning and doubt. When you don't let yourself worry about what all could go wrong, you're finally able to focus on everything that's going right. Horny, I know, but I genuinely do believe it. Looking forward, I think this is a mindset that can be beneficial for us all, even just a little. We have the opportunity here, at this pivot in our lives, to express ourselves in our most authentic forms. This is the point where we have the opportunity to distinguish ourselves and where we want to be in this world. Most importantly, the decisions we make in the near future will guide us through our lives. Seize this opportunity. We have the chance to be more free and unrestricted than ever before. Yes, it's a little scary, but above all, it's exciting. Embrace your passions, explore your hobbies, and appreciate your quirks. Your most authentic self is the one that is most interesting, and it is the person you deserve to be. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2022. Go Cougs. Please welcome A.J. Corkery back to the podium.
Our class has endured the loss of classmates, faculty and staff, friends, and relatives throughout your four years at Kennedy. At this time, please join me in a moment of silent reflection to honor those who have passed on. Thank you. I would now like to in introduce another member of our senior class council, Brady Shea. This year, as the class of 2022 moves on, so will three Kennedy staff members. We want to take this opportunity to say goodbye and thank you. Jill Asprey. You might know Mrs. Asprey as our school nurse, but you may not realize that she has been more than that. As a school nurse and a nurse practitioner, she has served not only Kennedy families, but she has also been a part of Metro Care Connections and its outreach to all families. Mrs. Asprey began working as part of the Cedar Rapids Community School District service team in 1999. During her tenure here, she has always tried to do what is best for all students to produce positive health outcomes. She has advocated for and promoted the rights of students no matter how difficult the situation. Mrs. Asprey is extremely knowledgeable about nursing practices and has helped shape district health services, policies, and procedures, and was especially helpful during the COVID pandemic. All staff know that when they have a health-related question, they can ask Jill. She takes time to explain and is patient with everyone. After 22 years, Mrs. Asprey is looking forward to spending time with her family, including her new granddaughter, trying new recipes, reading books, and traveling. She's also planning for a new venture, but is not sure what that will be yet. She would like to remind us all, don't underestimate the impact you'll have on the lives of others. Michael Beal. 37 years ago, Mr. Beal was standing where you were as he graduated Kennedy High School, class of 1985. He's been a math teacher for 33 years, 21 of those at Kennedy, teaching everything from algebra prep to advanced pre-calculus and some other computer programming in between. He has had an impact on both the students and his fellow teachers through his leadership as math club sponsor for 10 years, math department chair for five years, a year as an IDS leader, and four years as a district math facilitator. In everything, he has, always, he has always worked hard and given the best version of himself to others. Early birds to Kennedy will we'll miss his good morning, but he looks forward to spending time in the wilds of Iowa, camping, fishing, and hiking. Pam Kalb. Mrs. Kalb is a true Kennedy Cougar. She graduated from Kennedy. Her kids went to Kennedy. She volunteered for many years at Kennedy. And then in 2013, she became a Kennedy staff member. Not many of you know Mrs. Kalb, but as compliance secretary, her behind the scenes job has been very important to the special education department. Those who do get to spend time with Mrs. Kalb describe her as friendly, always smiling, and genuinely nice. In retirement, Mrs. Kalb is looking forward to spending more time with her grandson and traveling. We are fortunate to have many more members of the Kennedy staff who are just as committed, caring, and add a brightness to our day. At this time, I would like to ask all members of the Kennedy staff to please stand so our class and families can thank you. Thank you for everything you have done for the class of 2022. And now, please welcome Student Government, Government Officer Taylor Siabati. This evening, I have the honor of introducing the Cedar Rapids Community School District's Board of Education. President David Tominski and Directors Jennifer Borshooting, Cindy Garlock, Nancy Humbles, Dexter Mer Mershbrock, Jennifer Newman, and Marcy Roundtree. The board members devote countless volunteer hours to our schools. We appreciate your efforts as you deal with all the issues of overseeing our district. Please join us in thanking our board members, and especially Mrs. Borshooting, Mrs. Roundtree, and, and President Tominski, who have joined us this evening. As with the Board of Education, the school district's central administrati administrative team works diligently to maintain the quality of our schools. 
Please join me in welcoming Executive Director of High Schools, Cynthia Phillips. Ms. Phillips supports all aspects of high school education in our district and is instrumental in the planning of the school year. I'd like to introduce Deputy Superintendent Nicole Quaker. Ms. Quaker is responsible for direct administrative supervision of the Office of Learning and Leadership, supporting learning from pre-K to 12th grade. Thank you for joining us tonight. At this time, I would like to introduce Superintendent Noreen Bush. Ms. Bush was named Superintendent of Cedar Rapids Community School District in 2019 and continues to work tirelessly, advocating for students, improving systems to achieve our vision and mission, and focusing on results to assure all students are ready for their future. Superintendent Bush. Class of 2022, you don't know this, but I call you the class of hope. Welcome Cougars, class of 2022, class of hope. You are setting forth a model and a path to reclaim in-person learning and events for our school district. After two years of interruptions of our traditions and rites of passage, your class reset a new vision of bringing our community back together again. That's right. From mask optional learning environments to dances to the notorious Cougar Spirit Assemblies, class of 2022, you reset hope for your class underclassmen, and our community. The journey to this moment may have felt like an eternity at times, and perhaps a blink of an eye at others. Your stories include a lot of firsts, but remember, your stories include a lot of Kennedy and Cougar spirit, resilience, and triumph. At this time in our history, our community has experienced, yes, a pandemic, and a derecho from which we are still recovering. Yet, our community also experienced innovation, advocacy, tenacity, and resilience, the tenets of creating hope. That is you, class of 2022. You have been through so much. <laughs> You have forced us to think differently about education, about options, and how to consider possibilities to solve complex problems. So now, more than ever, let's honor what you have gained during these last 13 years of your school life. You have created a complete orchestra of learning from in-person traditional coursework to synchronous learning with teachers and classmates on the screen to anytime, anywhere learning in your own space at your own pace. This is the absolute crescendo in the concert of your schooling. You have tackled so much and you have done it with grace and with wisdom. You are greatly admired by all of us here in Cedar Rapids Community School District. To the families, community members, staff, who've guided these students along their academic journey, I hold a deep respect for your mentorship, your care, your guidance that led these young women and men to this important moment in their lives. Graduates, as an alumnus of Cedar Rapids Community School District, I share your enthusiasm. I remember well the pride of this moment, sitting right over there with my mother right up there. Please know that we are cheering you on as you set yourselves into new adventures where you begin to build your own unique history, where I am confident there will continue 
to be a paved path of hope for yourselves and for others. When I look at you, I am so hopeful for our future. You, class of 2022, are the hope creators. So it is only fitting that we send you off thinking about those next steps in your future. Our vision in our school district is every learner future ready. So everyone in this arena, we are going to cheer on our Kennedy High School graduates with that very vision. When I say every learner, you cheer with volume and pride, future ready. Here we go. Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up. You get the cue. All right, here we go. You too, Cougars, you too. Every learner. Every learner. Congratulations, Cougars. I'm so proud of you, class of 2022. After all that cheering, I'm not sure that I should even bother with this, but we'll, we'll go ahead. Dearest class of 2022, it is finally here, your commencement. I'm about to read your names, but this is not the end. It is the beginning of the next big chapter of your life. You have achieved the milestone of completing your primary and secondary education, and now you move forward into the great, confusing, and exciting moments of young adulthood. Poet and philosopher Henry David Thoreau once wrote, quote, if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. It is quotations like these that graduation speakers like myself often use to help develop a theme or scaffold to their long drawn out di diatribe about what is ahead and what you should do. Speakers like me choose these quotations generally for one of two reasons. A, they are exceptionally well-read of the author's works, and this is just one small piece of the collection that resonates with them. Or B, they Googled inspiring graduation quotes, and this popped up. You would get group A with Mrs. Bush. I'm group B. And I will also kid you not that when I began to type this quotation into this document, Google auto-filled this quote, which means that it is used very, very frequently by people like me. So instead of a long, boring speech about living the transcendentalist life using poetry and literature I have never read, though I will admit it was probably assigned to me in my sophomore year of language arts class back in 1993, I have decided to write instead a speech using source material that I am well-versed in in a scaffold for the forthgoing advice that I will offer. It is not classic literature or ancient philosophy. It is not even supposed to be used as a foundation for really any kind of thinking, but it is a medium that I know well and I love dearly. It is a little TV show called The Office. So hang on tight, because this is gonna be a bumpy ride. As a side note, if you've never seen The Office and are more of a Thoreau fan, I will give you a quick synopsis of the program. Essentially, it is a mockumentary about a branch office of a paper country called Dunder Mifflin. The protagonist is Michael Scott, the world's best boss, but he is also kind of an idiot. So, if you're not a fan of the show, my apologies ahead of time, but I hope that you can still learn some lessons along the way. So I present to you graduation advice from the office. Also, please note that all quotation marks are being used in this speech 
so as to avoid demerit, citations, violations, verbal warnings, written warnings, disciplinary reviews, and full disagulations for plagiarism. And I will try to keep things brief as I do not want this to be too long. First, piece of advice, don't be an idiot. This is the best advice Michael ever gave Dwight. As you go forth, when you are going to do something, think to yourself, would an idiot do that? And if so, do not do that thing. I think this may be the best advice I can share with you tonight, and I know I shouldn't lead with the best advice, but you should also not lead with your weakest advice, so here we are. Additional words of wisdom come from Michael when he tells Dwight, K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. Great advice, but it hurts his feelings every time. So as you go into the world, don't be an idiot. Keep it simple, make good choices, because decisions can last a lifetime. Second, someday you may be a parent, and some of you may also have employees that work for you. Michael offers more great advice for both of these situations. When considering how he wants people to feel about him, he posits, would I rather be loved or feared? The answer, easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. Now, this can apply to all walks of life. Maybe it's when you have to hand down some form of corporate punishment to an employee, or you have to discipline your nephew, or in some instances do both at the same time. Or maybe your own children are being disrespectful and calling you names like Mr. Poop. In any event, you will want to love them, and you will want them to love you, but sometimes you have to achieve that love by being mean. But remember, Michael also teaches us that sometimes the ends justify the mean. Seriously, though, focus on love. Don't be mean to each other. When you find ways to love others, they will find ways to love you back. The third piece of advice is to help you to avoid money problems. If you find yourself in an unmanageable debt, you need to know that you cannot just say the word bankruptcy and expect anything to happen. You have to declare it. But to avoid that, let's remember the sage advice that Michael gives when he comes into $645, more or less. Although that money literally makes him a king at Burlington Coat Factory, a valuable lesson is learned when the money doesn't materialize. And so he teaches us, quote, never buy a fur coat on a credit card until you absolutely have the money to pay for it. This also applies to DVD box sets of The Muppet Show and multiple magic kits. And as well, do not charge those things to your corporate credit card as they are not legitimate business expenses and Toby will take your card away. What I mean to say is be smart with your money. Wait, save, and be prudent. Avoid debt as much as you can, live within your means, and always think about the future. But if you do get into trouble, remember, a good 45-day, 45-point plan should solve all of your problems. I'm going to wrap up with one more large piece of advice, but there's a few things that I want to highlight from uh, Dwight. First, don't turn your back on bears, men you have wronged, or the dominant turkey during mating season. And speaking of bears, remember that bears eat beets. Bears can run faster than a horse, so if you're trying to outrun one on a horse, I would try a cheetah. Bears can climb faster than they can run, and bears can smell salami from five miles away. There's a lot of bear advice in the office. Finally, I want to conclude with a quote from a very silly show that is actually pretty meaningful. In the finale episode, Andy reflects back on his time at Dunder Mifflin after a year away from his old friends. And as he ponders all that they shared in the office, he tells us, quote, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you left them. You are of an age when the next step appears to be better than where you stepped from. But don't lose sight of the moment. Don't miss out on what's happening now because of what is next. Don't wish the days away. I promise you, your mom and dad and grandma and grandpa are looking at you right now, thinking not about your next step, but remembering your first steps. The sweet infant who kept them up at night, the toddler who rampaged through their belongings and the kindergartner that they took a million pictures of on the first day of school. They held you when you cried, they kissed those boo-boos that caused you pain, and they sit, there in today, they sit there today in awe 
of what you have become. Memories of the big events of your life are great, but it is the common, simple moments that might be truly the good old days. And these simple things, those ordinary moments, will be the memories that stick with you when you are old and gray. In the final episode of The Office, Pam reflects on why, for nine years, a docu documentary crew would choose a boring, run-of-the-mill paper company as its, sub as its subject, but then reminds us that, quote, there is a lot of beauty in ordinary things. Isn't that kind of the point? Don't miss the ordinary things in your life. Cherish the people and experiences that you get to have every day. There is beauty in ordinary things. Congratulations to you all. May your hats fly as high as your dreams, and I'll see you on the flippity flip. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please practice courtesy and respect for all of our graduates, every parent and guest here would like to hear their child's name. So as we ask you to hold, we ask that you hold your applause and noise making until all of the students have been acknowledged. Mrs. Borsharding, Mrs. Roundtree, and President Tomiski, and Superintendent Bush. The following students have met or exceeded the requirements for a Cedar Rapids Community School District diploma through their study at John F. Kennedy High School. Please come forward as I call your name. Zaid Abushar, Sarah Caitlin Adams, Elizabeth Adamson, Olivia Abba, Christine Nicole Allaire, Denver E. Anderson, Elizabeth Anderson, Heather Anderson, Anthony Aviles, Chris Ayala, Matthew T. Buckham, Abigail Catherine Bays. Leah Bakewell, Aiden Ball, Will Barker, Lily Barr, Garrett Barton, Tyler Bars. Devin A. Bascom, Salon Bassnet, Jackson Bassett, Carissa Boffman, Topanga Beauregard, Michaela Beckman. Mason E. Bain, Madison Beitzel, James Belding, Alyssa Bilo, Isaac R. Benyon, Anthony Burkus. Cameron Bex, Gage Douglas Bieber, Carson Brian Blitz, Onyx Boardman, Macy Bonwell, 
Jubilee Dominic Borse. Jackson Bowman. Luke Bradley. Hannah Brandt. Alan Brown. Michael Tashawn Bryant, Jr. Natalie Bulo. Noah Bugal. Brady C. Bunting. Carly Burgess. Mackenzie Burns. Alexandra Byrne. Ella Cadenhead. Lily Callahan. Najee Renee Campbell. Tavian Caps. Serena Carper. Timothy Robert Charper. Charles Cherry. Zane Chrisman. Taylor Siabati. Xander I. Chia. Shakira Clare. Taya Clark. Aliu Coker. CJ Coker. Alexis Collins. Taylor Connell. Katie Conyers. Alex J. Corkery. Lucas James Corrigan. Alexander Colburn. Megan Cousins. Orion David Cozzolino. Chloe Christ. Haley Cutter. Dylan Davis. Jacob Davis. Logan Dieters. Caden Detweiler. Mariah DeWolf. Ashaya Dietz. Joel Dillman. Imani Dorsey. Kaylee Duncan. Ashley Dunham. Daniel Eads. Shaylee Ellert. Raina Ellens. Morgan Elif. Karan Elmore. Mallory Engelman. Aiden English. Elijah Irvin. Imani Evangeline. Peyton Fairbanks. Ashton Falk. Adeline Fawcett. Megan Feldman. Alex Finolio. 
Sophie Ficken. Colin James Flanagan. Keenan Sean Flood. Fernando Flores Hernandez. Zachary Foster. Dominic J. Foy. Trisha Freytag. Jocelyn Rose Frozy. Winnie Gavin. Haritier George. Keaton Gerber. Olivia Giesman. Alexandra Michelle Graves. Layla June Graw. Noah J. Gritton. Avery Gook. Jesse Gunter. Gannon M. Hall. Jonah Hollum. Kale Hansen. Eli Hansen. Landon L. Hansen. Lucas Basil Hansen. Noah Hargrafen. Sheridan Harmon. Aiden Harris. Allison Elizabeth Harris. Demaya Carlene Harris. Dakota Harris. Quan Harris. Jasmine Eden Hartney. Ethan Head. Parker John Height. Kalasia Hendred. Rayanne Hepker. Sammy Herkelman. Levi T. Heschke. Addison Hitzel. Maddie Hodgins. Ella Hager. Isaac Hofferber. Kirsten Holitz. Kyla Holm. Harrison Holt. Kaylee Hornet. Oriana Hugot. Tyler Hewlett. Ruslan Hunt. Liv Jackson. Riley Yeager. Mitchell John Janicek. Simeon Yaoyainen. Connor Jeffords. Rashawn Jennings. Cora Johansson. Camden Isaac Johnson. Edward Jones. Trevor Jones. Megan Joseph. Molly Joyner. Salahuddin Jung. 
Micheline Commanda. Grace Kasparic. Samaya Kellum. Megan Kesey. Elise Kim. Garrett King. Rachel Kin. Danica Kirshner. Jack Edward Klein. Joshua Michael Klein. Hayden Klett. Jacob Clace. Victoria Knight. Alex Cuck. Liz Keppen. Nate Keister. Wilsey Colley. Kate, Kate Kramer. Lacey Cruz. Chloe Kennan. Kiara Kuhn. Keenan Cundy. Brandon Quater. Elijah Quizera. Anna Lai. Celia Langemo. Alexia Carmela Leclerc. Felicity Lair. Gabriel Lemke. Audrey Leno. Emily Lick. Brendan Lindy. Bryn Lindenlaw. Joshua Link. Connor Lohr. Anthony S. Lona. Candid Lowe. Grace Lunsman. Annabelle Mimi Luongvan. Vong Tian Li. Alexander Mackin. Angelina Madlock. Ruja Magar. Morgan Mahoney. Nevea Mangrich. Emma Marple. Rebecca Ann Martin. Spencer W. Martin. Isaac Paul Martsky. Marcus Marzen. Virginia Matta. Peyton McAfee. Takayla McCain Reed. Paige McDaniel. Connor McGovern. Ian McGovern. Lacey McHenry. Savannah McLeod. Hannah McLaughlin. Chase Michael McMurray. 
Taylor McQuistian. Kaylee McVeigh. Brianna Meck. Sophia Meese. Holly Mahaffey. Alexa Messerschmidt. Sarah Mikulik. Jaden Middendorf. Kiara Millam. Lissandro Milan. Gregory Kelsey Mills. Ethan Mills. Kiana Millsap. Kiara Millsap. Sam Eleazar Miranda. Stephen R. Mahovich. Jody Mooney. Landon Bryant Moore. Isaiah Morgan. Kendra Morris. Savion Morris. Thomas Morris. Matthew Morrow. Joseph Alexander Morwood. Derek Murphy. Carson Musel. May Tashombe. Samuel Noring. Kaylee Novak. Grace Nayungu. Joseph Wild Olson. Kira Overstreet. Ethan Palmer. Sonda Pepini. Colton Palmer. Lillian Pastersky. Riker Patton. Emily Patridge. Bailey Paul. Sarah Paul. Roman Perez. Jalen D. Petersmith. Caden T. Fifner. Connor Fluhop. Ryan Phelps. Destiny M. Phillips. Michaela Pineda. Kaylee Pirtle. Chris Pollum. Dakai Pope. Isabel Augusta Presley. Gianna Purcell. Brendan Rader. Arena Ralston. Mina Ramadugu. Alexis Randall. Lena Anne Marie Randall. Carly Ray Ratcliffe. Caitlin Reednauer. Caden James Reese. Liliana Reinert. 
Sophie Reiner. Grant Remorowski. Sammy Lane Renning. Mason Reynolds. Brady Robertson. TJ Robertson. Amanda Robinson. Josie Drew Roloffs. Allison Victoria Rorson. Zachariah Roth. Jenna Elizabeth Ruiz. Owen Ryan. Musa Saad. Christopher Sagastumi. Deshaun Anthony Sanders. Milka Sontash. Lily Schaefer. Mitchell Shares. Jack Schizzle. Gracie Schlake. Brooke Schmidt. Carly Schmidt. Lexi Schmidt. Isabel P. Schrader. Ty Vasquez Schreiner. Olivia Mary Scott. Grant Michael Seals. Evelyn Seiler. Natalia Simon. Jaron Centers. Maria Shake. Brendan J. Shaner. Brady Shea. Julia Shaco. Chloe Short. Sydney Short. Aliyah Sidhu. Antonio D. Sims, Cadence L. Cisneros, Jacob Brent Sivils, Bethany Smead, Alexis Smith, Gavin Smith. Gunnar Sparks. Cora Spielhalter. Parker Sprague. Harry Spritzer. Caleb J. Stammeyer. Alyssa Statsny. Colton Stodiker. Jacob Allen Xavier Steenblock. Andrew James Stewart. True Stewart. Ella Stoltenberg. Austin Strait. Kyan Stricker. Juliana M. Strong. Brian Stubblefield, Jr. Emily Stufen. Alistar Sullivan. Maeve, I'm sorry, Kira L. Sullivan. Maeve Amelia Sullivan.
Aspen Southers. Gabriel J. Savatek. Bryn Swanson. Alexandra Sweska. Jacob Sweska. Ryan J. Simmons. Bridger Tack. Pinky Edna Tarmia. Anna Tegetz. Tessa Timmerman. Caitlin Tipton. Milena Keita Tridel Guger. Adam Troffles. Ben Trotter. Bella Grace Trotter. Frank Valenta. Carter Vanderzee. Riley Van Driezer. Elizabeth Ann Vasky. Emma Vasky. Cooper Bestweber. Doug Wakem, Becca Warfield, Carter Weaver, Zachary Silas Weedle, Travis Weininger, Luke Joseph Weerling. Van Allen Wiesack. Lexi Wheatley. Cameron White. Morgan White. Clarissa Wicky. Clara Wilcox. Ellie Wilkes. <laughs> Ashlyn R. Williams. Amanda Williams. Devin Allen Michael Williams. Parker Willis. Ashlyn Wilson. Noah Wilson. Raina Winders. Callie Wistrick. Logan Wojak. Laney Joe Wood. Rhea Wood. Tavian Ray. Ashanti Wyatt. Ashlyn Yakish. Megan Yauslin. Olivia Yi. Caleb Yoder. Madeline Zapital. Taylor Zebor. Mackenzie Zion. Alexia Zerba. Kaylee Marie Zwak. 
Congratulations to the class of 2022. I would like to thank Mr. Heenick, Mr. Johnson, and especially Ms. Mrs. Brunson for making my whole senior year a very like, best year to remember. I want to say thank you to Mrs. Rubis, Mr. Horton, Mrs. Fry, and every other teacher that helped me along my way. To all the teachers that I've had throughout high school, helping me be a better person and be the person that I am today. Thank you, Mrs. Williamson. All right, I'd like to thank Coach White, making me love the game of football game, go on to play next year. Uh, thank you, Kennedy Program, for helping me make good friends and helping me uh, get through the school year. I'd also like to thank some of my teachers, like Merritt and Brunson, for have like making these cl my classes fun and having a good time in, in high school, and also my middle school teachers at Trinity that made me into the student I am today. Thanks for my parents always supporting me and Mrs. Merritt for being an amazing teacher. I want to say thank you to my parents for always supporting me and pushing me to be the best, and I want to say thank you to Mrs. Peterson for always being there for me. I want to thank Mr. Heenick because he's been a great teacher all year to prepare me after high school. I want to thank Senora Gardner for making Spanish fun. Hello, Mrs. Baber. Thank you so much for listening to me over these past three years and just sticking by my side through it all. I'd like to thank the entire Enlo family for everything they've done for me. And lastly, I'd like to thank Mr. Choder for being a great friend and teacher. Thank you to all the coaches that have led me through high school and pushed me to be my best. Thank you to all the teachers who helped me and pushed me through all my hard work and dedication. I'd like to thank the entire LA department, especially Ms. Woodhouse, Mrs. Berger, Ms. O'Connor, and Ms. Becker for always being there for me, always being willing to listen to whatever I have to say and always supporting me through everything. Thank you. Um, probably my teachers, uh, Coach Heenick specifically. He's been really good. Um, if I wouldn't have taken his class, I would have been so much more behind than I think I could even imagine. Um, I want to thank you, my parents and my teachers, for keeping my grades above zero and always telling me to get ready for school. Uh, the abandoned show choir programs and Fleer Williamson and Brunson. I want to thank my friends, my family, and all the amazing teachers. Thank you, Ms. Stevens and Mr. Malico. I want to thank Mr. Heenick. He was my freshman year geometry teacher and he taught me so much about being financially stable and I just owe so much of my great high school memories to him. So, thank you. Thank you to Miss Malone and Julie for helping Bella and always being super fun all these years. Thank you to Mr. Heenick, Mr. Evans, and Madame for being the best French teacher ever. And thank you to our dogs. <laughs> I want to thank Ms. Fry for being the best teacher I've had all in my high school years. And I want to say thank you to the whole bowling team because I love you guys. I just want to thank Ms. Rubis, Mr. Horton, Ms. Bierman, and Ms. Howard for an amazing senior year and all of my siblings and family to support me through it. Uh, I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank you, thank Ms. Lau for helping me in all of my support for the year. I also wanted to give a big shout out to Ms. Fry for always making LA fun and always keeping positive vibes. Gracias, Senora Gardner, for being so awesome. I'd like to thank my parents for helping me get through my 12 years of school, and I'd like to thank my best friend for getting me through middle school and high school. I'd like to thank all my teachers, especially Senora Gardner, for getting me through Spanish 1 and 4 and always having candy for us. I would also like to thank my teachers, Ms. Lau and Ms. Ashby, for keeping me on track. Without them, I wouldn't graduate, probably. And I would also like to say, thank Rima. He's a great guy and great teacher. I want to say thank you to Mrs. Fry for being one of the best teachers I've ever had. Um, I also want to say thank you to Mr. Hollander for being the most down-to-earth, funny teacher I've ever had. And Mr. Brown for being the best Chinese teacher I've ever had. I would also like to thank Ms. Ashby and Ms. Lau for always being there for me through my toughest of times and for helping me make the best out of myself. Oh, my mom, my dad, and Mrs. Merritt for dealing with me, even though I show up late every day. 
Thank you, Mr. Ziegler, and all of our favorite memories in Chuck Choir. Mine was Nashville this year and getting to perform on the Grand Ole Opry stage. Mine was also Nashville, and yeah. Yeah, Nashville. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Ziegler. Thank you, Zig. Thank you, Mr. Malakote, Horton, LeClaire, and Malone for always letting me complain about all the tests we take. And thank you, Ms. Gonzalez, for being a queen. I want to thank Brunson, especially for show choir and always being there for us and basically making like this the like my senior year the greatest year show choir ever. Um, I want to thank Mr. B for putting in so much time and effort for student gov, and just thank all the teachers at Kennedy for making this a great school. We want to thank Mr. Evans, Mr. B, and Coach White, and we also want to thank Senior Gardner and the entire Spanish department and also our families and especially our parents mm -hmm. and all of our awesome friends. I also would like to thank two teachers. I'd like to thank Mr. Ziegler and Mr. Hayes for always being there and always being mentors and helping out with everything and answering all my stupid questions and making sure that I was always prepared for anything to come in their classes or in their activities that I did. Hi, I'm Riza Morgan. I would like to thank you to the wonderful teacher who supported me and helped me to come this far. I appreciate your patience, kindness, and for always willing to help me. I will miss you and I honor you all. And also I would like to thank you to your parents and family to, for your support and cheer. Thank you. We, we want to thank, thank Ms. Ms. Merritt. Um, she is the highlight of our morning every single day. And so she also would always bring in really good food, which is much appreciated at 8 o'clock in the morning. Exactly. And we just want to thank her for how much time she invests into her students. And we love you. I need to thank Ms. Fleer, Ms. Williamson, the whole band program for giving me a whole lot to do these past four years. Thank you. I would like to thank my parents for always supporting me in everything I decide to do, and I would also like to thank Mr. Evans for always being there for me throughout freshman, sophomore, and junior year. I really do appreciate you guys, and yeah. Um, I want to thank my parents and Mr. Horton for helping me along my journey and supporting me throughout the way. Thank you. Um, I'm very thankful for a lot of the teachers here at Kennedy, specifically Senora Yaukeinen. She's been a big deal in my life since freshman year, since she taught me in Spanish, and then she's just kept reaching out to me this whole time. And I was really lucky to have her in homeroom this year. And then I've also wanted to say thank you to Mr. Klein for hosting the Hoover Advisories and letting me go every, every time, and that was really fun. And then I also am really thankful for Mr. Heenick, Mr. Viss, and then um, Mr. Benedict were also very important to me. I just want to say thank you to all of my teachers and peers for really shaping my high school experience and making these last four years better than they otherwise may have been. We want to thank all of our parents, all of our teachers, especially Brunson, our siblings, and all of our coaches. I'd like to thank Mr. Carolyn for making almost every class I went to just so enjoyable. I always look forward to his class. Thank, thank you, Ms. Stevens, you. for being such, such a great, great physics teacher. We want to thank our families and Flair and Williamson for making band the past four years amazing. I would like to thank all my teachers for this experience and just helping me in general. I'm thankful for Ms. Gamusker for getting me to for helping me out all these years. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Hollander, uh, Mrs. Stevens, um, Mr. Malico. I'd like to thank Barry Wilson for teaching all the shop classes, making high school a little bit interesting, enjoyable to come to. Thank you, Mrs. Brutus! I want to thank our parents and our siblings for getting us through these four years of high school. And we both want to thank our friends for making these uh, four years super fun. And I also want to thank Ms. Stevens for making physics my favorite class of my senior year. And shout out Officer Tran for keeping us safe. Uh, for me, it's impossible to thank just one specific teacher because every teacher I've had in my four years here at Kennedy has been truly exceptional and are just such a key part of what makes Kennedy an amazing school. And I'd like to thank uh, all my teachers for helping me graduate, I guess. I would like to thank all my teachers, specifically Ms. Fry, Ms. O'Connor, Ms. Peterson, and any other teachers that I love so dearly. And then I'd also like to thank Tolly for just kind of showing me through a lot of these career paths that I have with TV, with video. Even though I also kind of flaked on him, it still helped me out a lot throughout my high school career. I would like to thank my friends and family for always being there to support me. 
I would like to thank Miss Finley for always being there for me and listening to all my problems. We'd like to thank Mr. Ziegler and Mrs. Wessels for being the best teachers and counselors ever. Gracias, Senora Gardner, for dealing with all of our senioritis and being the best teacher ever. I have to give a big thank you to my math teachers. I had Neff, Johnson, and Rubis for making math fun and understandable. I could not have done as well as I did if you didn't work so hard to make class entertaining. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Trevor Jones, a senior here at John F. Kennedy High School. I'm here to thank all the all his teachers and staff that helped me over the years. I'd like to thank Mark Musker, Kathy Klein, Sarah, Sarah Lau, Tracy Maiman, David Reimer, Gary Stastny, Dina Johnson, Jenny Newland, <coughs> rest in peace, Dan Carolyn, Craig Bova, uh, uh, Beaver Mahusky, Jessica Kustong, Eric Sherrard, Lisa Neft, Amanda Fendi, Tammy Miller, Leslie Nelson, Randy Whitehead, Andrew Tran, and, and the principal, Jason Klein. I, did, I, I like you more than just my teachers. I like you as my friends. I see you guys as my friends the most. Thank you for everything. Your good student and great friend, Trevor Jones.
Even Local is proudly sponsored.